Everyone, it's Rochelle and welcome back to my channel I'm super excited to be back with another tutorial for you guys in today's video I'm gonna be doing this hair tutorial and it is actually inspired by Aaliyah you guys I've done a few Aaliyah inspired looks on my channel before but I've never done an Aaliyah inspired hair tutorial I've done makeup tutorials they're actually very old videos some of my very first videos when I used to do a lot of celebrity inspired makeup so this hair look was definitely inspired by Aaliyah I love the 90s layered look I love the side sweep I love the bangs so if you guys like this hair tutorial and you enjoy this video please comment down below let me know let me know if you learned something from this tutorial as well so yeah let me just stop rambling and get on with it let's get into this wig now this is a pre-made wig and it's from West Kiss I will put all the hair info in the description bar down below the wig is a 20 inches 13 by 4 frontal wig so it's not a full lace wig it's a frontal wig and you guys the sides it doesn't really have a lot of parting room I do have to bleach the knots and I'm just gonna do that off camera because I have very very detailed videos on how I bleach the knots and I only bleach the knots on black hair so if you guys are new to my channel or you're new to my videos just check out the description bar down below I'll link one of my very detailed videos on customizing your wig in the description bar so now we're gonna move on to tweezers now that the knots are bleached I'm gonna tweeze the hairline because honey she was looking a little full okay say pre-plucked but it's not really pre-plucked but it wasn't that bad I had to do like probably 10 minutes of tweezing and this is the finished look I always tweeze behind the hairline and as you can see right now I'm just tinting the lace with the wig gurus tint I love using this product for tinting my lace and make sure that my lace matches my skin perfectly you can also use some foundation powder to tint your lace you don't have to use the lace tint so I'm just putting my wig on and she fits good the hairline is looking scrumptious I don't know how a hairline is supposed to look scrumptious but she looks good she's giving me a little bit of scalp and I'm here for it now you guys have seen me apply my wig so many times I'm gonna use the bold hole skin protector you know what use a cotton pad I'm just lazy so I just sprayed it all over my forehead and once it's dry I put my lace glue on which is a bold hold lace glue and I'm gonna add two layers of glue and once the glue has dried clear I'm gonna go ahead and pull down that lace now you guys this is a little different from what I usually do I usually cut the lace but I actually forgot to cut the lace before I applied so I was kind of freaking out because I'm like oh my god what if my wig does not apply right but now I'm gonna go in and cut it once the glue is already on and yeah the technique it works the same anyways I'm gonna cut off that extra piece of lace on the ear part because we don't need that and I'm gonna go in with my blow dryer on a cool setting and go ahead and dry that glue melt it down I'm gonna kind of speed this part up because you guys have seen me doing this so many times I'm gonna go in with my eyebrow razor and my scissors to cut off that extra pieces of lace that we don't need I'm just repeating the same steps on the side as well so I'm applying two layers of glue wait until the glue dries clear and then I'm gonna go ahead and melt down that lace so you guys I'm just speeding through this part because I've done this so many times like you guys have seen me apply my wig so many times so I'm actually gonna go step off camera now and do my makeup and I'll be right back okay so moving right along I did my makeup I did a neutral beat not natural <laughs> neutral and I'm gonna go in with my comb and create a side part so this look is very very much inspired by Aaliyah and she was always rocking a side part a very deep side part side sweep I loved her hair from back in the days I love me a side part you guys already know that so I'm gonna go in and try to do a side part remember how I was telling you guys this wig there's not a lot of parting room on the sides but there is in the middle so I was able to achieve a side part here now I'm gonna go in with my hot comb and just flatten it down because honey this wig is just sitting on my head like a freaking hat like she is not flat we need to get her to be flat now if this wig had more parting room I could definitely do a deeper side part but I have to work with what I have so now I'm gonna go in with my eyebrow razor and I'm gonna create very very natural natural baby hairs nothing too you know nothing too big so I'm gonna go in with my got to be free spray on my little raggedy toothbrush 
and you can use an edge brush too but i like using my little raggedy toothbrush i know it's so raggedy ew gross <laughs> and then i'm gonna go in with some hair mousse and i'm just gonna go ahead and apply that to the edges of my wig this is gonna really make my wig look very very melted very natural looking and you guys i love applying my wigs um before i apply makeup i just feel like they look so much better the application looks so much better when you have no makeup on so now i'm gonna go ahead and tie it down with some pantyhose and this is really gonna give my wig a melted look and i kept this on for about 10 minutes and then i'm gonna take it off and honey we are melted we're melted so i'm gonna go back in with that hot comb again just to flatten the sides and just make the part look a little bit more deeper on the sides and to create a deep side part like Aaliyah, i'm just combing the hair forward and i'm gonna go in with the hot comb again just to comb it forward and flatten it and then i'm gonna go in with some wax sticks because the wax stick is really gonna get this wig to lay flat you guys like it's really really does wonders for me i love using a wax stick this one the brand i'm not sure of the brand but i got it on amazon now let's move on to cutting Aaliyah was known for having layers and a side sweep and you guys i'm gonna create that 90s layer style i freaking love love the layers look from the 90s i used to wear this a lot back in high school and i love it and you guys i'm using a sharing comb to do this because child i don't know how to use the scissors okay so i'm just using sharing comb and i find that it's a lot easier when i do it like this again i'm not a professional so if i'm doing something wrong feel free to comment let me know and maybe i can get better but yeah so the layers are they start off short and they go in long i'm standing so you guys can actually see what i'm doing and then as for the front i pulled out the fronts because i want the front to be more on the shorter side and i'm just going in with that sharing comb and just cutting away now i'm gonna go in with my babeless flat iron and i'm gonna start curling the hair and i will be curling under and as i curl i cut the ends of the hair also just to give it a more layered look so i'm kind of cutting the hair and straighten it at the same time as i go along and honey the layers are looking good i'm here for it like it looks good by the way you guys this hair is a natural black it came in a natural black but when i was bleaching the knots on this frontal i kind of messed it up so i actually end up dyeing this hair jet black and i actually never ever wear jet black i usually just wear the hair in its natural black state that i get it in when i get a wig but i was like feeling the jet black i never do jet black because i'm always scared to do jet black i don't know why but i'm feeling it it looks good but if you guys want to see a tutorial on how i dye my wig jet black i know it's a basic color but there's a technique to it so you don't ruin the lace but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and just continue to straighten and then curl the ends of the hair as you can see i kind of tucked away the front and i'm just going in with the sharon comb in the front and based off the picture of Aaliyah that i'm trying to copy the hairstyle she had a short side sweep bang so she used to wear her hair in long side sweep bangs and then some pictures that i've seen is short side sweep so i decided to do the short side sweep bangs and so i kept cutting because i felt like mine just wasn't short enough so i kept cutting cutting i think i may have made it just a tad bit too short but you know what i was feeling it it turned out great and this is pretty much the finished look on the haircut and i used my fingers just to comb out the bangs and i went in with the flat iron again because i actually end up cutting some more pieces off the side but yeah guys this is the finished look i really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial i definitely enjoyed this tutorial filming it for you guys so if you do enjoy it please give me a big thumbs up comment down below let me know what you guys want to see next let me know if you want to see some more celebrity inspired looks some more looks from the 90s but yeah i will see you guys in another video very very soon i love you guys so much Thank you for watching and supporting my channel. Bye.